everybody, I'm John Brewer, and this is Survival Exploration 201. This episode we're going to be talking about the first phase of Space Engineer's economy, mining. Because we're playing with realistic inventory size, we're really desperate for a way to mine more than 280 liters of ore at a time. Our first ship is the Mega Miner Supreme, a small drilling vessel. Like most mining ships, the Mega Miner only has a few systems. It has ordinal thrusters, gyroscopes, a cockpit, and a reactor to let it maneuver. The components that make it a mining ship are the two drills and the small storage container. Asteroids and space engineers are voxel structures, and drills remove vertices from those voxel structures and give you ore based on what kind of material was associated with that vertex. A small drill bores a hole about 3 meters by 3 meters in an asteroid, or 3 meters by 4 meters depending on your alignment with the voxel structure of the asteroid. This width is important when designing mining ships, as it gives you the diameter of your mine if you drive the ship straight ahead. Making sure the hole is large enough for your ship's profile will simplify your mining and increase yield per second. While ship drills do throw off some ore as they mine, the vast majority of the ore is captured by the drill and stored in the drill itself and any containers connected to it by conveyors. So how much ore does a drill recover? The answer to this is that there's a very strong random factor on the amount of ore you'll see out of any particular vertex mined by the drill. Using statistics, though, we can get an approximate answer. A small ship miner will recover 20 to 30 liters of ore for every cubic meter it mines. Now, a few caveats on that number. Some ores, specifically silver, gold, platinum, and uranium, only get a percentage of that 20 to 30 liters. Silver gets 90%, gold 70%, platinum 80%, and uranium only 30% of the amount we would normally recover. Once these minerals are hauled back to base, they also convert into ingots at very different rates and on very different timescales. We'll talk about power next time on Survival Exploration 201. Until then, I'm John Brewer, bringing you better gaming through applied mathematics.